This is my week eight on the weight loss drug we go be. And this is the worst week yet. <laughs> This girl a mess, y'all. Hello. Welcome to my channel. And welcome back if you've been around here. I am Kendra. This is Kind Kendra Creates. This is where I share my life with you. I also do commentary on a variety of topics. And if you want me to talk about something, send me some stuff I'd love to discuss. And... If that stuff sounds good to you, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Okay. So this is week eight on the weight loss drug, We Go V. I usually have like a cute outline of my entire week. If you've watched my videos before, this video is not going to have that outline because this week sucked, okay? I'm gonna do my life update, but my life update is gonna consist of everything pretty much. So just to let you guys know, as you already know, I have been suffering terribly with my mental health. I thought everything was good. I had a really good run for two weeks and everything was on track. And then I realized that I have a serious problem and I had my appointment with the health psychologist and she talked to me and she did my I guess you could say initial discussion, assessment of everything that's going on with my life, you know, my prior eating history, my diet history, you know, the current health habits that I have now, just everything, right? And then she says, basically, she couldn't help me. She asked me, have you ever thought about an intensive outpatient program for your eating? I was like, you know what? I actually have thought about that. Because I did think about that before I had kind of looked it up, but I brushed it off like, you know, whatever. Basically, she told me there was nothing that she could do for me. I needed to go to an intensive outpatient program for my binge eating. And I was like, er, er? yeah, that's what she told me. I was just as shocked as you guys were. I mean, I wasn't shocked, really. I knew that I eat to cope. I eat in secret or by myself. I eat more than I should. I eat very fast, large amounts of food. I eat to comfort myself. I eat when I'm not hungry. Hi, my name is Kendra and I'm a binge eater. And I don't know how to help myself and I don't know how to get help for that. And so what can I do but do what she said I should do? So I'll probably talk about that in a separate video, but that's kind of like where I am with it. But my progress for the week, I didn't have any progress. Unfortunately, I did nothing but binge eat this week and it was not good. And when I get like that and I'm eating, you know, like I don't care. I don't care about weight loss. I don't care about a health journey. Like I just get really down and depressed and sad and I just freaking eat. I feel like... Maybe I need to just increase my dosage on my medicine. I have an appointment with my psychiatrist, I think maybe like in two weeks or something. But I mean, also I need to learn how to cope with these feelings because I'm always going to have tough times in my life. I'm always going to have problems. I'm always going to have issues. And I can't just solve it with food. Like that's not a healthy coping mechanism. And I don't know what to do. Like I don't know how to get help. So my eating habits sucked this week. I mean, like they just did because I didn't care. And which leads me to exercise. I usually am very, you know, I love to go to the gym. I love to work out. It's me time. It's, it's time devoted to me and myself and my body and my progress and my goals. And I didn't go one time. I was just low energy, low mood. I didn't want to do one of the one things that brings me joy and satisfaction in life. And it just freaking sucks, man. So my eating sucked, my workout sucked, which also means that my weight loss progress sucked. And I'm gonna give it to you guys. I last week weighed in at 188.9 and I weighed in this morning today at 193.5 for a weight gain of 4.6 pounds. Most of that is just, I know, like water weight due to the 
you know, increase carbs and everything. And I don't know what to say, y'all. I just don't know what to say. I just know that it sucks. It doesn't feel good. I don't have an update. I don't have anything good right now to say. I don't have any positive, like, word. I usually end the video with a positive word. I don't have anything positive to say. Like, I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. I don't feel good. Like, I feel like I'm just going backwards. I feel like I'm just wasting 2023 away. And right now, I don't have anybody to blame for that except me. It's my fault for my lack of progress. But I feel like once I get into therapy, then I'm hoping to make progress. And I feel like I'm going to just talk about that in another video because that is its own like animal to discuss and talk about because I don't want this video to be too long. And like, I'm really not like in a good mood right now. So, I mean, like, I don't really have anything positive, uplifting, inspiring or any like good news to share. And I like sharing good news. I don't like sharing the sad, depressing stuff. But I feel like it's all part of my journey. It's all part of who I am as a person. It's all part of like my story. And I want to share like my whole story. I want to share my entire story. I want to share everything so that when I do finally like cross the finish line and reach my goal, that you guys can see that it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies because it has been a hell of a year. Okay. Uh, and it started out so good. That's the crazy part about it. But what can I say? This is life. This is real life. This is really what people go through. And that's all I can do is just bring it to you guys in its raw, unfiltered form. Format. <laughs> I know this wasn't a good video. I know this wasn't positive, inspiring, uplifting or anything. But if anything, I hope that it resonated with you guys. And it's something that you can relate to as far as you may be not doing so well or you know like maybe you are suffering from a tough time right now in your life and you're just like okay it's just not me i'm not the only person in this world you know so i mean that's all i can do right now i'm gonna give you guys an update definitely about intensive outpatient therapy because i need it i need something right now like so i guess some more to come what more to come more to come i hope you guys can relate to this video and if you can i hope you just like it for solidarity for support I, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos i really appreciate you know the support that i have received from you guys and i'd like to give you guys support if you're on a journey or you're having a tough time in your life we all need somebody that we can relate to you know yeah that's really all i gotta say Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope that you are subscribed. If you're not, check and see if you are. I'd love to have you here. I appreciate you watching my video. Make sure you spread kindness in a world full of hate. I will see you on the next time. And hopefully it's with better news. Bye-bye.